Am I the asshole? For taking my daughter's side? I have a daughter with my ex. My ex in total has four kids, one with me and three with her current husband 9M, 7F, 4F. She had to downgrade her home because of some financial issues and now they live in a three-bedroom home. Yesterday my ex called me angrily and asked me to talk some sense into my daughter. Apparently my daughter and ex had a huge fight when my daughter found out she is supposed to share a bedroom with her half-brother, my daughter told her mom that she wants a room for herself or she will stop going to her home. I told my ex while I understand that she has financial issues but she needs to understand that my daughter shouldn't have to share a bedroom with her brother if she doesn't want to do so. I said that I think my daughter is right and asked if I should pick her up since it seems like she is not willing to give her a bedroom for herself. She called me an asshole and ended the call. Not the asshole. She's a teenage girl, and her mom expects her to share a room with a preteen boy. That will end up highly awkward for both of those kids. Not the asshole. Your kid is 14 years old. Having her share a room with a boy is a big no-no. She needs her privacy. I'd be on the mom's side if the girl had to share with the girls but with the boy? Absolutely not. Not the asshole. A teenage girl who is going through puberty, should not be sharing a room with a boy. She's a teenager, she needs her space. Not the asshole. Your daughter has every right to object to sharing a bedroom with her half-brother. Your ex-wife built a family that she cannot afford to sustain. Your daughter should not have to pay the price. Info is the wife proposing to let the son use the room when the daughter is away, or does she literally expect them to sleep in the same room at the same time? OP has commented that the daughter is there two weekends a month. It's unreasonable to leave that room empty 26 days a month. As long as the brother sleeps elsewhere for those four nights, I don't see a problem with sharing the room in this way. Not the asshole. There isn't a situation where daughter should have to share a bedroom with stepbrother. Daughter should be living with her father if mother can't provide the right environment for a teenage girl. Not the asshole. If your ex was so concerned, she would move the three female children into the master primary bedroom, take the middle-sized room for her and the new husband, give the smallest room to her son. Sounds like she doesn't want to be inconvenienced with a smaller room for herself. Not the asshole, but you may have to revisit the court with this updated info, if the ex is unwilling to discuss it. Mixed gender bedroom sharing should top out at like age 8 10, if even that. I don't see how your ex has any other options, but I also disagree with putting a teenage girl with a young boy, that's just not going to work and I don't blame your daughter for not wanting to do that. This is a lose-lose situation for your ex. But you're not the asshole. Sh, if she is only at mom's two weekends a month, the kids that live there full time deserve to have their own rooms as more of a priority. I guess having privacy, but as someone that grew up in poverty and shared a room with multiple siblings, this isn't the end of the world. Mom had to downsize, someone's going to have to share. Not the asshole. I think it's time to change custody arrangements since she is now older and residences have changed. 14 is a difficult age and harder when these sorts of upsets in life happen. She's at an age where she can start contributing to these types of decisions and continue to build relationships on her own. I don't think it's a good idea for her to share a room with her brother. You all need to find another arrangement. Not the asshole. Having a 14-year-old year and a 9-year-old boy share a room isn't the best idea. Maybe check the laws in your state as many states allow people as young as 14 to have a say in where they live. Not the asshole. A 14-year-old girl should not be sharing a room with a 9-year-old boy. This young lady will need some privacy for obvious reasons and I am pretty sure she will not get it with her half-brother. Not the asshole. It's understandable for a teenager to want their own space. I'd argue it's healthy for them to have one. It's unfortunate that your ex is experiencing financial difficulties. 
but your daughter is old enough to have input on where she wishes to spend her time. I do not think it is right to force her to share with a nine-year-old boy. I don't really think you're in the wrong here. I think that is a huge ask of a teenage girl as they want their space and need their privacy. Is the mother the one with full-time custodial rights to your daughter? Could you get full custody? Do want it for that matter? I think the only solution in my eyes would be to invite her to live with you. Not the asshole for advocating for a your daughter in a reasonable request. Not the asshole she shouldn't have to share with her brother. But not being the asshole isn't going to fix this situation for your kid. Not the asshole your daughter is 14, her half-brother is 9. That not only is a huge age difference, but she probably would prefer privacy as sharing with a boy is a whole other can of worms. Your daughter is old enough to decide which parent's house she stays at. You can provide her with the privacy she wants, you respect her. Not the asshole. A girl should never share a room with a boy over the age of five. Why doesn't she come live with you? You're the asshole. There are three bedrooms and four kids. You expect your daughter to have one to herself and the three other kids to have to share? If you were saying the daughter should share with her half-sister instead of brother I'd agree but you're saying give her her own room or she comes to stay with me 100. Definitely not the asshole. Your daughter is 14 and sharing a room with her brother? I would be mad too. Your daughter is right to feel this way. You're in the right for backing your daughter up. I think your strong character shows when you say that it's your daughter's choice whether or not she wants to stay at your ex's. You didn't do a single thing wrong. If anything, your behavior is admirable in this situation. Not the asshole Lord Almighty, sharing with a 9 year boy when you're a 14 year girl. Your ex needs to appreciate that by letting your daughter live with you she's been spared daily Armageddon when the 9 year boy does 9 year boy stuff like refusing to give her any privacy and purposely embarrassing her in front of friends. Not the asshole. Your daughter has a point about not sharing with a boy. It also won't make sense to have her share a room with two little girls and the nine yo has their own room. Sucky situation but it is what it is. Not the asshole. As the only girl of four siblings I always got my own room. Had it been the other way around I would have had to share with sisters and my bro would have gotten his own space. I can understand your ex may be thinking her daughter isn't there all the time so it wouldn't be constant sharing of a bedroom. Why can't she share a room with one of her half-sisters when she's there instead? Esh dang these nt a comments. I doubt the ex just wanted to downsize her home. She sucks for not working with her daughter on a solution that works better. You suck for not teaching your daughter to also be compromising and understanding by supporting her own room only preference. It's unreasonable to expect the other children to share one room 100 of the time so your daughter can have a room to herself 15 of the time. Not the asshole, at 14 she gets a say on having no privacy. Not the asshole 14 f and 9 meters in the same room very uncool combo both would be miserable. 